In 2026, the Philippine Navy is stepping into a new era of maritime defense technology. One of the most talked about developments is the Blue Shark torpedo, now upgraded with a rocket assisted launch system. For decades, torpedoes have been a key element in naval warfare, but what makes this new system different is its enhanced capability to respond faster, reach farther, and dominate underwater threats more effectively. This is the Reverend Line, and today we are diving deep into the Blue Shark Torpedo 2026's game-changing maritime weapon for the Philippines. The Blue Shark Torpedo, originally a product of South Korean defense manufacturer Lignex-1, is a lightweight anti-submarine weapon. It was first developed for use by the Republic of Korea Navy and later exported to multiple allied nations. The Philippine Navy adopted it as part of its naval modernization program, recognizing the need to counter regional underwater threats in the South China Sea. But in 2026, the system has been significantly upgraded with a rocket-assisted launch capability, marking a serious leap forward in how the torpedo operates. Why add a rocket to a torpedo? Traditionally, lightweight torpedoes are launched from surface ships, helicopters, or maritime patrol aircraft. When deployed from helicopters or aircraft, the torpedo is usually dropped into the water where it activates and homes in on a target using acoustic guidance. However, launching from ships presents certain challenges. Conventional deck mounted launch tubes have limited range and speed of deployment. In hostile environments where seconds matter, those limitations can cost lives and allow enemy submarines to escape. The 2026 version of the Blue Shark torpedo addresses this by integrating a rocket assisted launch system. This enables the torpedo to be fired from ships at much longer distances. The rocket booster propels the torpedo over the surface of the water, allowing it to reach a predetermined area before detaching. Once the rocket booster disengages, the torpedo drops into the sea and activates its own propulsion system, beginning the search for enemy submarines. This new capability gives the Philippine Navy a critical advantage. Now, naval vessels can engage underwater threats from a safer distance reducing the risk of counterattack. The ability to launch torpedoes over longer distances also extends the protective umbrella around Philippine territorial waters. With the growing number of submarine incursions in the region, this upgrade couldn't have come at a better time. Let's break down the technical specifications of the Blue Shark Torpedo 2026 variant. The torpedo itself is 2.7 meters long and weighs around 280 kilograms. Its warhead contains approximately 45 kilograms of high explosive, enough to disable or destroy enemy submarines. It can operate at depths of up to 300 meters and reach speeds of over 45 knots underwater. The guidance system uses active and passive acoustic homing meaning it can detect and pursue enemy submarines silently lurking beneath the waves. The new rocket-assisted launch system adds another layer of capability. The solid-fuel rocket booster allows the torpedo to be launched from deck-based vertical launch systems or even from mobile coastal defense platforms. In emergency scenarios, this flexibility is critical. It means the Philippines is no longer solely dependent on naval helicopters or P-3 Orion patrol planes to deploy anti-submarine weapons. Surface combatants and coastal bases can now take direct action. This is especially important given the increasing submarine activity in the West Philippine Sea. Chinese submarines, for example, have been detected patrolling these waters raising tensions and testing the limits of the Philippines' maritime defense readiness. By deploying the Blue Shark with rocket-assisted launch, the Philippine Navy is sending a clear message, it is prepared to detect, track, and neutralize undersea threats before they come close to Philippine shores. 
But the 2026 Blue Shark torpedo isn't just about hardware. It's about strategy. The Philippines has traditionally struggled with gaps in its undersea warfare capabilities. With limited submarines and outdated sonar systems, defending against stealthy submarine threats has been a major concern. Now, the introduction of this advanced torpedo system helps fill that gap. Combined with upgraded sonar suites, new surface ships like the Jose Rizal class frigates, and the ongoing acquisition of maritime patrol aircraft, the Philippines is building a multi-layered defense system. This technology also opens the door to joint defense operations with allied nations. The United States, Japan, Australia, and South Korea all have robust anti-submarine warfare programs. By integrating compatible systems like the Blue Shark, the Philippines can participate in coordinated maritime defense efforts. Training exercises, shared data, and joint patrols become more effective when everyone uses interoperable equipment. This means the Blue Shark isn't just a weapon it's a tool for diplomacy and alliance building. Another interesting point is how this system impacts naval tactics. Before 2026, Philippine ships had to rely on getting dangerously close to suspected submarine threats to deploy torpedoes. That made them vulnerable to enemy missile strikes or torpedo counterattacks. The rocket-assisted launch changes this dynamic completely. Ships can now stay at a safer distance, launch a torpedo over the horizon, and strike an underwater target without ever entering the submarine's engagement zone. This not only protects the lives of Filipino sailors but also gives commanders more strategic options in conflict scenarios. Cost is another factor that makes the Blue Shark an attractive choice. Compared to heavyweight torpedoes like the American MK-48 or the British Spearfish, the Blue Shark is relatively affordable. This allows the Philippine Navy to acquire them in greater numbers ensuring that they have enough munitions for both training and real-world operations. Additionally, the lightweight design means they can be deployed from a wider range of platforms, from corvettes to helicopters to unmanned systems. Speaking of the future, the 2026 upgrade of the Blue Shark also positions the Philippines to enter the era of networked warfare. With advances in drone technology, Unmanned surface vehicles and aerial drones could potentially carry and launch these rocket-assisted torpedoes in the near future. Imagine a scenario where an unmanned drone detects a submarine and relays the information back to a ship or coastal battery, which then fires a rocket-boosted torpedo to intercept the target. This kind of integrated system is no longer science fiction it's a near-future reality. The Blue Shark torpedo with rocket-assisted launch is not just a weapon it's a symbol of the Philippines' evolving defense posture. For too long, the country has relied on second-hand equipment and outdated systems. But now, with the acquisition of modern tools like the 2026 Blue Shark, the Philippines is sending a message to the world, it is ready to defend its waters with modern, flexible, and powerful technology. In the end, it's about deterrence. The best way to prevent conflict is to have the capability to win it. By investing in systems like the Blue Shark, the Philippines is making a calculated move to protect its sovereignty, deter aggression, and ensure peace in the region. The seas are changing, and so is the way nations defend them. This is the Reverend Line. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the weapons shaping the future of defense.